I realized in the last video, I mentioned that you guys can actually use a couple of apps to denoise your audio. But I didn't really fully expand, I just mentioned a couple of like what the name of the apps are and maybe I should just go through like what you can actually use. I could suggest a couple of free apps that you can use or paid apps. But I'm just going to keep it simple and just suggest the best app that you can use. Okay, so the first one will be CapCut. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted by all these meow meows. This is one, this is called Storm. The second one somewhere, which is called Jinji. This is cat number two. If you guys know Jinji cats are very chaotic. This one is just knocking around all the time. Okay, so there's this app called uh, CapCut. It's free to use, but at the same time, there's other pro features which you may or may not want to use, but the basic functions are just good. So there's uh, CapCut, download CapCut. And first thing you do is you have a new project and then select the video that you want, which is possibly... First thing that you can see is that there are a couple of uh, resolutions that you can do. I normally just max it out, you know, put it in 4K, the frame rate at 60, uh, bit rate, uh, make sure it's high, so you get the best quality that you can. Okay, so this is a quick video because I just realized that in my last video, yeah, so if you can hear, there's a lot of background audio. So the first thing that you can do before you make any cuts at all, uh, make sure to just denoise the audio so you'll have something clean. Just click on the clip, scroll to the right, all the way till you see reduce noise. Click on reduce noise, turn it on. Okay, so this is a quick video because I just realized that in my last video, I didn't really fully explain about the whole denoising this game app. I just went. Okay, so this is a quick video because I just realized that in my last video, I didn't really fully explain about the whole denoising this game app. I just went. Yeah. So if you notice, uh, there is quite a difference and although it doesn't denoise like f like magnificently fully and stuff uh, you can always cover it up with music click on audio go to sounds select whatever music there are whenever there's someone talking you can also adjust to 25% or 15% so that you can actually hear the person talking while a bit of the music it shouldn't be over too overpowering so typically in broadcast uh, shows and stuff the variation between the person's talking and the music is normally about 18 to 24 db in difference so that's a kind of a standard in normal tv shows and all that but also it depends if you want to uplift with the music if the music plays a uh, part in the story as well, you know, to really hit home a certain emotion. That's when the music can be quite loud. So uh, typically for this kind of uh, YouTube videos and stuff, right, the next thing you should do after you denoise the audio is to just cut the SOT, which is you talking, before you put in your cutaways. There's a fan going on. And then we make a cut, so normally uh, where I want to make cut, instead of uh, sliding around whatever stuff, I just click on the clip and click split and just make a cut there and then I'll find the next cut point. Yep. So, so I'll make a cut over here, split and delete away the one that I do not want. So click on that previous clip, delete and we have a cut. Okay, make a cut. Okay, so aside from denoising your audio. Another cool thing about CapCut is that you can put in uh, LUTs or filters. So just click on the clip, click on the filters and then you can choose whatever you want. You can always choose what you want and then uh, just adjust accordingly. For me right now, I'm just going to adjust the shadows. Just like crap. Adjust the temperature. And there you go. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, CapCut, you can denoise your audio, you can make cuts, you can add music as well. Mm. This is my pet keyboard. Yep, so after you edit uh, the video, you can double check on your resolution. Always make sure it's the highest resolution. And then, yeah, export, man. Exporting may or may not take a while. 
So this is the best free option that you can go for. Uh, there are other apps that you can use which are paid apps which actually might do a better job at denoising your audio. Uh, like Luma Fusion which I have on this phone as well. I'm just going to show. All show, don't tell. Okay, so there's uh, Luma Fusion. So this is Luma Fusion. You can always uh, adjust the project accordingly. Always based on the first clip that you've added. And then, yeah. So once you add your clip, how you want to like denoise your audio, you just click on the clip, click on the edit icon, which is like the, this little pencil. If you click on the audio tab, the funny icon, and look for sound isolation. Click on sound isolation, and then uh, just play back the audio to see how it goes. Just mention it so that hopefully. Luma Fusion is actually a paid app and it was only a few months ago that they added the sound isolation. Yeah, it, it works pretty well, man. Okay, so firstly, this is the before. Okay, so this is a quick video. A lot of background noise. Okay, so you turn it back on. Video because I just realized that in my last video, I didn't really fully explain about. So it works uh, possibly better than CapCut, but Luma Fusion does cost money. And I personally think that it's worth the price because you can use it on your iPhone or your iPad. So I typically put it on my iPad to edit uh, interviews. So uh, actual client videos, I'll edit interviews stuff first on the iPad or while I'm on the go. And then when I reach home, I'll just export XML and just continue editing in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so aside from Luma Fusion, there's a solo app. Denoise. So aside from this Denoise app, there's another app called Deshake, which helps to stabilize your footage as well. So these two apps are paid for sure. Deshake app actually does really work really well. So yep, uh, choose the specific clip that you want to denoise, which is normally just eat the talky talky stuff, right? Click on it, it'll start loading. So if it's long, it might take a while. Okay, so yeah, we have the audio. Okay, so this is a quick video because I just realized that Click on Denoise About the whole Denoising this game app I just went to just mention it Yeah, so there's a Denoise mode Speech enhancement, audio beginning, no speech segments speech, Yeah, all, all this stuff uh, You have to play around with it to just find out what it does So uh, audio beginning, uh, uh, no speech segment and stuff uh, That's where you capture the noise print Where it's just the background sound only so take that sound and then minus off through the rest of the video. Yep. So once you're done, uh, click done. So yeah, so there's a couple of options. Uh, there's saving. How do you want to save? You can replace the original video file. Okay, save as a new video. For me, I'll just save as a new video. And video has been saved. There are other apps out there which you have to try out yourself. But honestly, CapCut Luma Fusion and Denoise is probably the best app that you can use. CapCut is the best free app, although there's uh, pro features that you can pay for, but the base foundation of the app is free and yeah, it's all you need. Additionally, so if you want to go a bit upper scale, you can also use Luma Fusion, but use Luma Fusion only if you're doing like more of like client work and want something a bit more technical. And denoise is if there's a lot of clips that you can do, they need to denoise. Yeah, it's worth paying for denoise. But aside from that, yeah, just use tap card, man. It's free. It's a lot of cool apps you can color create and stuff. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, thanks for all the support. And yeah, continue on your budget video making <laughs> journey. And yeah, do leave a comment like this video and share it with others who actually will find this video useful and yeah don't forget to subscribe thank you these two best apps that you can do there's a cat right there being freaking naughty